Welcome back to the Hugh Gaming, everybody. This is Clash of Clans, and we're back here on The Legend Longahu for yet another exciting episode of Town Hall 13, trying to get this baby maxed out. We still have nine days on our army camp, six days on our Eagle Artillery, three days on our Giga Inferno, three days on our workshop, and six hours on a Seeking Air Mine. But we do have a builder available. What? Oh, I'm so excited about that, guys. I basically put myself in a really bad position last time. And I had like four or five days where I didn't have a builder available. And that was the worst. Um, the winter update has gone live now, y'all, in Clash of Clans. One of the biggest changes that it impacts me that's kind of cool, but I, I mean, there should be an option for it. Uh, it's the super troops though. Their only active time is for three days. It is cheaper, but it's also less days. In fact, it might actually be more expensive because I'm pretty sure it was seven days before, wasn't it? So now it's half the cost in less days. So uh, I do believe though you can, I heard you can do multiple super troops, including the new ice hound and the new super wizard. However, if you've been a, a fan of the channel or the series for any, any length of time, uh, you will know that Super Barbs are pretty much tried and true, and they are kind of what we do here on this channel. So, just clicking around, all these notifications, I, I feel like I have to click them. Um, let's check our treasure. Do we have anything there? Oh, yeah. We got war loot in there, baby. Uh, I'm not going to receive it yet, but I do. You know what? We have some sweet armies cooked up because we're in CWL currently. Uh shout out to my clan for being awesome i failed i literally just straight up missed an attack and <laughs> there wasn't even an excuse i just completely forgot to attack and i felt really bad i think it was a war that we really didn't have a chance of winning anyways um but a missed attack is a missed attack one of the other co-leaders was generous enough though to let me back into the war uh, because you get pulled immediately if you miss an attack but he let me back in his spot because he had already done and gotten his eight stars. So he wasn't too concerned about it. So thank you, Jinx Beta, for that. We're going to attack Sniper Ver um, here. And we're going to try to get some loot. So there we go. We're just going to plant down all of this good stuff here. The only thing I have built is a what? A stone slammer. I got to take a look at what's going on in my workshop. I think I messed something up. Why would I have a stone slammer? This is the worst. We're going to freeze over the town hall and this air defense here. Freeze over those Teslas. Let these guys get some work done. Looks like we got two more freezes. So I'm going to hit. Oh, the Giga Bomb destroyed my bats. It destroyed them. Wow. All right. Pop the King's ability. Pop the Warden's ability. No sense in waiting any longer. Get the archer pop down and we're going to just finish off this base no problem i mean just look at this massive amount of troops our ice golem just now finally went down and froze that area up top there yeah we're, we got the three star in the bag all we need to do is break through the walls to get back to the de storage and finish these last few buildings on the outside and we're set it was pretty good loot. It was about 500,000 gold and elixir, like 550 actually. So not too bad. I'm considering starting to climb trophies and make my first ever push to Legends League. I really love farming. Farming is my favorite thing to do. Um, but it's Legends League, guys. That's where, you know, that's where you're supposed to be going. That's the, you know, the coup de grace, the big bang, the, the final end point. So... I'm considering it. Uh, I think Yeti Smash could take me, or sorry, uh, Yeti Bow Witch could take me a long way. Uh, potentially learning Yeti Smash and some other strategies to help me along the way. So we'll see. Haven't quite decided yet, but I am in Masters 3. If I do decide to make a push, we have Champions League to make it through, Titans League to make it through, and my highest overall trophy count is 4313. Um, currently in my clan, that puts me. Well, 4313 would put me at 5th overall. Uh, however, right now I'm chilling at 25th. So, you know, oh, there you can see Dudon, man. The Let's Play series down at the bottom just 
holding up space. Uh, the guys are generous enough to let me hang out in the clan with him, which is phenomenal. So let's make sure what's going on here. Why can't I build? Oh, wait, is the, oh, the workshop. The workshop is being built, so I can't actually build that army, but I can build this one that doesn't have it. I do need to make sure that I, yeah, I have one stone slammer left, so I really need a CC. Uh, if I'm gonna do any damage, let's go back out, do one more attack, and then we're gonna come back and figure out what building we're gonna upgrade. Because honestly, because the upgrades are so long, I haven't even really thought about it or looked at it recently. Um, I think we're done with storages, maybe? I'm not even 100% positive on that, quite honestly. What is a Town Hall 11 with Town Hall 10 walls doing up there? Come on, man. All right, just need to find a base. Oh, without a without a wall wrecker or a log launcher, some of these bases are going to be tough. That may be another thing that plays into my decision is whether or not my workshop finishes uh, and I have things upgraded properly. So give it a couple searches. If we don't find anything, that's not bad. We could do that. Pretty low level walls. Let's take care of this base here. And beautiful. So put the stone slammer down just because we can. Unfortunately, I don't have like wall breakers or anything, but that's not the end of the world. Oh, better put the bowlers down, huh? Beautiful thing there. Get that wizard tower frozen. Uh, gonna get this sweeper frozen. Pop the king's ability so he can push through. That's gonna be nice. We're gonna need a freeze over the town hall here in just a second. It's going to pop any second now. Freeze it, beautiful. All right, got it frozen, let's freeze again. I don't know if that freezes over the gigabomb when it goes down. Nope, nope, still, still kind of destroyed stuff. So pop the warden's ability, which is probably what I should have done over the gigabomb, but again, I'm not too worried about it. There's only 200,000 gold in elixir on this base. Um, and we should have no problem finishing it off. These defenses are either out of, out of ammo or li really low level, and we are just doing our thing here. So pretty under level base, but we did some work. Oh man, all right guys, that is another three star. So back to back three stars, that's a beautiful thing, um, especially with a, an actual war army instead of just a farming army, not used to doing that while I'm recording and <laughs> doing videos so um all right let's jump over to the progress base and see what awaits us I move oh wait is that army camp oh i i didn't change my walls out sorry that's on me uh, we do have that bomb finished so we can move it up and across that's a beautiful thing uh looks like the seeking air mine is getting upgraded the town hall is still upgrading so kind of got our choice of what we want to do I have finished the walls. I think that I had that in the last video. We don't have enough. Oh, we do. We do have enough loot to finish this because we have our treasury. And I kind of feel like that's where we need to focus. We need to get those elixir buildings done so then elixir can be poured into the lab and the walls. So we're going to collect our treasury right here. Perfect. Man, I 18 million loot in your golden elixir is just crazy to think about. Um, oh, we have some wall rings. Beautiful. I am probably going to actually hold on to those though and use them in the builder base because it's so much harder to do walls in the builder base. In fact, let me just pop over there real quick. Yeah. So if I go to the cheapest wall, which is, where's it at? Oh, it's the thousand, it's the million one. So it takes three wall rings to do that wall. It takes four wall rings to do those walls and six to do those, which I could do. Um, golly, it's just so expensive though, guys. It's crazy. So I'm going to do a couple walls over here uh, randomly with wall rings because that grind is going to be incredible once we get it there. Yeah. Uh, while I'm sitting here, can I do any upgrades? Yeah, I can. Okay. Um, one of the ones we use most, so let's use the bombers. Two day, 16 hour upgrade. That's a beautiful thing. And we'll just start a random gold upgrade. That's kind of how we do things, it's going to seven. Most things are going to seven over there. All right, I digress. <laughs> now that I've done all that, um, we can do what? Three upgrades with gold, except we do have a builder coming free in six hours. Chances are we'll be doing a gold upgrade because we'll be out of elixir. So we'll need 3.6.
which means we'll have 13 left over. I think I can farm enough this evening to warrant doing three walls and still afford to do that upgrade. I mean, it's only 3 million gold. We're not talking about a lot. So let's do three walls, level 14 walls. Oh, max walls. Look at that. You can't even level them up anymore. It's beautiful. It's incredible. Um, yeah, we're gonna do three. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so exciting. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the wall grind. I know it's a lot. Look at those, look at that purple strip. I've never noticed that. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm a huge fan of the wall grind. I know it's a lot to do, uh, but it, it's that extra filler, it's that, that extra effort that's like, hey, I did it, you have it, I'm the best. You know, maybe that's cocky, I don't know. But we're gonna get this second army camp going. Oh my goodness, only two elixir upgrade buildings left. That's actually false. This workshop now has another level, and I just thought about that. Ooh, that's going to sting. Plus, the Spell Factory now gets an upgrade. Wowzers. Oh, my goodness. There's so much to do, guys. But that's the exciting part about the game. Um, I was using Pixel Crux, which is an app or a website. So it shows you how much longer you have until your base is finished. And it told me it was going to be October of next year. So October 2021 is when I'm supposed to finish this base. Uh, completely maxed out. Now that my lab is caught up with my buildings, that's a pretty firm number. So the best I think I could probably get it to is early September, maybe around my birthday. That would be sweet, but we'll see. Um, I'm not actually recording a Rush to Max series video today because the town hall is still upgrading um, but that Rush to Max account, if you're interested, I posted in our Discord, is going to take four years to max Town Hall 13 from where it stands right now. Four years. So who knows if I'll still be doing YouTube at that time. Uh, right now, it's just kind of a fun little side gig. I got twin babies at home that they're one year old. I'm trying to imagine at five years old, I'm still recording YouTube videos and they're growing up, but who knows, you know, it could be a thing. So it's, it's a lot of exciting stuff, guys. I'm having a blast doing it. I love playing this game. I love recording for you all. So do me the favor of liking the video, comment down below with what your favorite town hall level is to play at. Mine is probably town hall nine or 11, uh, but mostly nine and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I don't know why you're watching the video and you're not subscribed. I'm too small of a creator right now for you to not be subscribed, so it means a tremendous amount to me. Do it now, I'll wait. All right guys, that's it for me today though. Thank you for joining me once again. This has been LaHue Gaming, and I'm out. Oh, but I